Hello there folks, we're on uh, on site here today with the O'Flynn group in Cork. Um, we have a number of uni control systems working throughout um, the O'Flynn group, um, two with O'Flynn's themselves. We have uh, subcontractors, Chris O'Leary, um, Danny O'Callaghan, Finnis Contracting, and um, Danny Toland. And actually, on site here today, we're lucky enough that we have Denny on site with us. Um, the bulk of Denny's work here is he, Denny looks after all the water mains for O'Flynn's. So he has the drawing from the site engineer. There he is with his uh, Hitachi 130 5. Um, and Denny is looks after all the excavations of the um, of the watermen, but not only that. Uh, using the UniControl software, Denny is also logging all the wells, all the saddles, and the well numbers. He's able to log them in using the UniControl software so you can see here he has all his his watermen his connections and saddles and uh, Dan is just digging away to the drawing provided by O'Flynn's engineers Uh, another thing, beauty of having uni control is that there has been a pre-survey done here on these storm and foul connections. So then he knows exactly where they are and he knows that he knows the height of the top of pipe because using um, Uni control again, the operator with the machine that was involved in the main drainage and the storm and fold. He was able to log the line of all his pipes from the T on the main line right out to the inside of the footpath on the house connection. So Dan is, is digging away there. I'm going to go around the back of this here now because it's a bit... Our stick sensors. And all of Dan's information is obviously... It's in the cab. So hopefully I'll get a chance in just a second to get into the cab and have a look at the screen and have a chat with Danny. So uh, I'm back again. Um, we're in the cab here and we're just looking at what Danny is seeing. Um, basically he's digging to the, the yellow line right here um, which is the water main line and if I if I zoom out a little bit here we can see down here what he has finished already so then he is log logging in all his own all his own he's surveying all the colors on his own so he doesn't need an engineer on site There you have for his head wells, sluice wells, and wells, and that's all pretty much from the beginning of this. He's he's had the line, he's been given his levels, and he's surveying everything himself so that he can he can come along then and and backfill without without waiting uh, or being dependent on an engineer to come on site and do the welding and do the surveying for him. All this then from the cab we can go in here 
to our jobs menu top right and just here you have export click on next so you can do the day the week the month or everything I think what Danny normally does is he does it week to week share points will be on we will go with weld and water and it's DXF format node points are on DXF layers will be on ID will be all which will give you your the name of the thing it'll give you your northern east thing and your height also and your point symbol we always change that to a plus this is very hard to find a point in AutoCAD from here then you just you click on next you name the file and it's back in the office before you can get back to work basically um, I'd love to have Denny on the on the on the video today but but I did say I was going to make him famous but he thought he was famous enough so we're going to have to settle for for me yeah thanks for watching and look I hope you you, you took something that could bring a lot of positivity to your worksite um, over and out. Thanks.